this is not a good moment, like we said. Yeah. This is probably the worst moment ever in traveling that I've ever had or experienced. <laughs> Me too. Okay. I gave you my coffee. This is for you, dude. Okay. I'll take it back once I'm on the plane. I don't plane, need though. any more coffee. I am wired. I don't know why. I'm just excited. First time, first time international in four years. Yeah. First time international in four years for you too. No, when's the last time we went back to the Philippines? And is it has it been four years since we went back to the Philippines? No, it hasn't. What year is it? We came back right before COVID. Did you say 2012. 2023. 23? Yeah. No. When was the last time we... We went there right before COVID hit. Yeah. Remember we were in China when it hit. Exactly. So how many years ago was that? How many years ago? 2020. Was it, was it, it was over three years ago. Watch yourself. <laughs> e 69. <laughs> okay. Please stay cool. Have a pocket. Goodbye USA, next stop, yeah. Amsterdam. The cool part about being an IFBB Pro Olympian sponsored athlete and, and doing what we do is we get to travel the world, it's awesome. Yes. Business. Uh, bodybuilding event. Well, it's in Cologne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it makes me a little bit sad sometimes. It's like, for example, like just the lady we just like went by. Yeah, I'll probably never see her ever again in my life. Uh huh. It kind of makes me sad. Like, there's been like so many people over time where I think, man, I'm never gonna see this person ever again in my life. Yeah. Well, it's kind of. Huh? I hope she makes it Yeah. Or like that lady too. Yeah. It's just like anybody. Like, sometimes like you have an interaction with one person randomly, and you're just like. You know, that's why you what's up? It's up so like you have dreams. Hmm. You'll get like a random, a bigger one. I'm just like, this is like the one and only time I'm ever gonna meet this person ever yeah. in my life. Yeah. No, but when you get dreams where you see random people, it's those people you've seen before. It's your brain has processed them. Yeah, like your brain can't just make it up. Like you've actually seen those features before and those people. That makes sense. Made it through immigration here in Amsterdam. Next stop, Germany. So is that a flower garden? Yeah. We'll get some flowers. Oh yeah. Want some flowers, Joe? Jell, will you, Jell, will you grab this? I got it. All right, All right so, <laughs> not gonna lie, this is not a good moment right now. We are, uh, we just trained several, we just trained at several different stations and wasn't sure which one to get off on. And we just spontaneously got off one because we were told this is the right one, center and see if we can get it back. Don't, still don't know where we're going. This is not a good moment, honestly. So we might, we might find the bag. Oh my gosh, bro. This is not a good moment, like we said. <laughs> this is probably the worst moment ever in traveling that I've ever had or experienced. <laughs> Me too. Um, so hopefully we get this bag. A lot of detective work between the help center, you, your brother, Jelson. Not so much for me. I mean, I guess I it was good that I bought the tickets and stamped them, didn't yeah. I? You know? um, it's a, yeah. Lots of prayers have been going on for the last hour. Well, if people see the end of this video, we must have found the computer. Yeah, we'll find out here very soon, I hope.
All right, so now that I have finished my cup of coffee, which was delicious, by the way, <clears throat> we're going to address <laughs> what happened yesterday as we landed in Germany. So, Hold on. so the first thing I opened today was it says travel, your money will return your time bomb. Wow. <laughs> wow. Isn't that crazy? That's the first thing that I opened. It is crazy. We started in Florida. We went from Tampa to New York, New York to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Dusseldorf. Then we uh, took a train to Cologne from Dusseldorf. Well, um, as we landed in Dusseldorf airport, uh, I was anticipating having a, a driver, someone to pick us up and they didn't show, which is fine. So we said, okay, let's, let's, uh, let's train. And I'll be honest at that time I was not in the best mood. I was very tired. Uh, I think we all were pretty exhausted from the travel and it was, it was like a, one of those moments where of frustration, but yet we were like, okay, we just want to get to the place. Let's go. And, uh, we took the train. So <laughs> took the train and as we were getting off the train in a rush, Trevor, um, couldn't find his bag. Yeah. So then we, we first went to the lost and found. They told us to go because we were trying to find our train because we wanted to see like, is it going to the Cologne airport, then coming back? Like, where does this train go? So then we went to the lost and found. They told us to go to some other people. They told us to go back to lost and found. We really weren't getting any help until eventually one of the guys at the lost and found, he, helped, he was helping us. We were able to locate the train by looking back at videos. So Jelson found a video on her phone that had the train's number on it. So they were able to locate the exact train. And we had hopes that when it came back through, if the bag was left on the train, it would still be there. But we searched the train when it came back, no bag. So they said it was likely stolen. So then we went to the police, filed a police report with them. And now we're, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all in all, um, it was a quite an eventful day. That bag had everything in it that was important to Trevor, besides the camera. Yeah, Lap at least we have that. <laughs> Laptop was in the bag, hard drives, SD cards, battery chargers, extra batteries, and I think several other things that was very important. The gimbal, everything. Uh, for this YouTube video and what he does was in that bag. So we're like, are we even going to be able to film anymore? As a matter of fact, we lost the content that we shot with Christian Guzman and uh, Alex Toplin. And the thing is, is that's okay. You know, we don't want those things to go missing. It's not, not something we want to dwell on. Yeah, yesterday was an eventful day, but here we are. We're filming now. We have some battery left. Hopefully we can continue to film the rest of this weekend. We're gonna try to go shop for a new laptop, shop for new hard drives, batteries, I don't know, hard drives, whatever we need for this. And hopefully we can make that happen so we can continue to film the rest of this weekend and being here at FIBO. But um, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's pretty much it. It's, uh, we can laugh about it, but it's not really a laughing matter. To be honest, it's been a frustrating matter to say the least but we're trying to keep our spirits we just want to let you guys know what was going on and hopefully we're able to film the rest of this weekend and yeah i assume if this video comes out we were able to but we'll see what do you think bro it's huge just just wait till you get close and you're gonna see how like every little intricate detail on this whole place was thought out. It's crazy. I don't know, it's amazing, man. I love this. For me, the most amazing thing I've ever seen, especially here in, I wanna say Europe, but specifically Germany, but I never really had appreciation for stuff like this, yeah. like architecture and old stuff history until I came here for the first time and I was like blown away. You can just see, like look look really closely. 
You could just see every little detail and every little thing, you know? That's crazy. Ooh, it's kind of chilly. I'm gonna put my jacket on. <sighs> Ooh. Don't let me forget that. <laughs> yeah, don't lose that. What did you think of the food? It was bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll have I'll have them stay here and I'll go get it. Uh, okay. You got it. I'll go get this, it. Cross the road on the right side. There is an ATM. All right. Stay here. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. I was wondering, the week confirmed, it's a boy. <laughs> okay, so where do we go? That's the only way up. There's... There's that, whatever that is. Oh, this is going up. How do we go down? My ears are popping. Where are you looking? Oh, mine too. I'm going to walk No, don't. Yeah, this is the right thing. Don't do it. Let's do it. <laughs> we actually took my actual big signature, signature though. Mine's a big one. What you got? But you could at least this read his. Yours is just a. Well, that's how I write my name. <laughs> He'll learn. His, his will be a lot messier when he when he signs. <laughs> yeah. We need to have this shirt, and then five years from now, have the same one. one. Right, right. <laughs> it looks completely different. <laughs> transformation, <laughs> transformation. The shoes. Oh yeah. Shout out Impossible Kicks. Johnny Mac, thank you. We're going to Berlin. We're going to, well, not to Berlin, closer to Berlin. For the bag? For the bag. They sent us an email, but it was found an hour and 30 minutes away from us. So we're going to Uber there. This Uber cost us $161 euros. back eating Persian again we went an hour and a half that way where the bag was supposed to be and they told us the wrong time when they were closing so they told us they were gonna close at 6 but it turns out they closed at 4 time did you get there 4 15 we got there yeah. at 4 so we missed it by 15 minutes and it was so funny because we got there and we were like um, the information ladies, they, they said that, oh, it closes at 4. And we're like, well, it said that on the email that you close at 6. And then she's like, no, here's the card. And I looked at the card and it said, the card says you close at 6. And um, basically we were out of luck because they were like, well, we close at 4. So there's nothing we can do about it. So And it's 4.15. And it was yeah. 4.15. I literally knocked on the window and the door. Yeah, she did. Trying to see if anyone was still in there. 
no one but the good news is they found the bag and we're trying to figure out how to get it now ship it or whatever but yeah good news good... we we <laughs> should get our bag oh back gosh. with the hard drives yes you know what the best news is reading persian again <laughs> that is good news so that was day one at FIBO. I know we missed some because we went to look for the bag, but how was it? It was good. Well, day two for FIBO, day one for us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and it was a good turnout. Like I, there was a lot of people that came out. Um, they were at like the they were on the power. Sorry, they were out um, watching the power stage whenever I was out there. You know, we answered a few questions that they had for us as far as like two twelve open my future goals, you know, and whatever. And uh, then we did, a, it was really cool. We did like a meet and greet on the power stage too for like an hour. I oh, did that while, cool. you, while you guys were gone. That's cool. Um, but then otherwise we were out, or we were at like the um, influencer lounge. Like it was like a, a white truck. That was like sick. No, a lot of people come out and a lot of people very supportive and wishing me the best for this year's Olympia. So that's cool. And it's just fun. It's just a good vibe, honestly. When we come to these events, it's just the people that are passionate about bodybuilding and fitness and just here to have a good time. It's a big party, you know? So, and, and when I talk to people, it's like people are so excited to have these expos back up and going again after a few years of it being down because the world was crazy. And now that it's up and going again for the second year in a row, people are just excited yeah. and they want to be out. They want to be a part of these events. And it's just really, really cool to see. So whether it's the Arnold Classic, whether it's FIBO or any other of these type of expos, they're just fun to be at. And I think if you're, if it's in your area or if you're able to, to make it to any of these, I would highly recommend that people, people at least try it. They've never come to one. They're a lot of fun. It's, it's a packed house. Yeah, no, it really is. Yeah. Line. Oh my gosh. They say Saturday and Sunday is the craziest, as you can see. It is packed. It's busy in here. This is how I remember it. I seriously hate when there's people that want a picture or 
just to say hi or sign an autograph, whatever. I, I hate when I have to leave, but like we're late, we gotta go to the power stage because I have to, you know, be up there at a specific time, but I wasn't able to make it last year and I love this all the passion and love and camaraderie all in one spot surrounded by bodybuilding and fitness I love it thank you very much Derek let's walk but obviously YouTube is a lot more, it's a lot longer and better and I mean Derek is, from my opinion and my, um, my perspective right now, Derek is amazing. I enjoy seeing him in person. I don't really need a picture. It's just amazing to be here. And yes, I enjoy the moment just seeing him because he is the same guy in person and on camera. I need every bit of carb and protein from this right now. Keep that energy up. Keep that energy up. Once again, Persian. Oh. Persian food it is. This is like the only three days in a consistent row. Consistent thing here right now. Only consistent food. Persian for the win. Persian for the win. When you were today, right now, we're about to, I saw you in here, so I wanted to stop by. Really okay, quickly. I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go there for like 15 minutes and yeah, I'll be back. Yeah, I have to leave in 30, but I'll okay, yeah, I'll come right back. Just so I just. Ed Connor is, is the person that saw me at Junior Nationals when I come to watch one year, 2017, yeah. before I turned pro. Yeah. And he actually got me my first supplement contract. Yeah, I was changing my shirt. Great photo. And I didn't know he was here or he yeah. was at, at the place. Yeah. I was just changing my shirt. 
Yeah. And he goes, hey, come here, take a picture with me. I was like, Ed Connors? Okay. And then he, he yeah, he helped me get my first supplement yeah. contract. So yeah. all thanks to That's Ed. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Me and many others too. Yeah. So I'm not yeah. the only one. It's the last day, bro. It's hard to believe. I feel like we just got here, really. I feel like the first two days felt so much longer than the, actually the last three days. Especially that first day. I know, I know. It's like bittersweet because I love the events and I love seeing people, but also I love being at home and in my routine. I can have the food and that I need to eat and the training is better. So I am uh, I am ready to be at home, I to be it. honest. There was, what we say yesterday was 51,000 people. It was, yeah, 51,000 people. And it was just like constant line. Like if I had to go use the bathroom, like I couldn't even step out five feet in another line form. Yeah. It's really cool. Like I'm, it's, I don't say that boastfully. I just say that because I, I'm so thankful. And we were talking about, um, there's some people like, it doesn't matter who you are when, when you're like recognized for what you do, like success or accomplishments or whatever, like there's going to be a few people out there at least that have something negative to say, or they try to put you down. And the thing is, is the way I feel about it is like, if I let those few people, uh, if I entertain those few people, then I'm not appreciating all the people that have given me the support. So it's like a smack in the face to the people that do support me when I feed into the ones that are negative rather than just appreciating the ones that give me so much support. That's something I learned this weekend. What did you, be honest with me, and, and, and just be honest. We don't even have to put yeah, it in the yeah, thing. Yeah. But when you first met me, um, what did you think? Like, what did you think my career would be like? Well, I think it'd be number one, yeah. In the yeah. open or 212 or what? Yeah, in the open. Really? Yeah, yeah. I would have had him winning. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. I, I, I have heard that argument from a yeah, lot of people. Yeah. The thing is, for me, I'm accepting of a yeah. second place. I'm grateful to get to do this and be in this position, and I know I can be better, so. That's my focus, but I kind of wanted to hear it from from the man himself. If you look at if you look at the uh, so that's when I met there. Oh, I was looking for that photo. Uh, I'll send it to you. How how could you not think that two twelve one? Yep. Mm -hmm. But he was he was competing at one ninety eight. I was about to be a light heavyweight at the USA's yeah. that year. Yep. That was just happened to be a great photo in a hotel lobby. Yep. And I sent that mm -hmm. to Universal. But you know, it just it just shows this incredible size. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually. How many years ago now? That was 2017. Okay. I was looking for that photo ago. last yeah. night and yeah. I couldn't find yeah. it. I, I was mean, actually going to send yeah. it to you. But that's amazing. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. When he took off his shirt, I mean, some you know how some people look, they look better in clothes or not in clothes. Yeah. He looks incredible when he took off his shirt. It was, you know, mind-boggling. Oh, so, yeah. It just, yeah. So that was uh. I felt like that was kind of my breakthrough right before the the yeah. other breakthrough. So you, you, you were, pro. You, you, I was, in my book I write, I, I like the Wizard of Oz, who, who would give people either a heart, <laughs> brains, or, 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 or a badge of courage. Yeah, Most yeah. bodybuilders, they don't need a brain, they, they don't need heart, they're passionate about what they do. Oh my gosh. But they need to be pushed. And yeah. I think even that day I met you, you did not believe that you could win. I mean, I just knew he was going to win. And I told, wow. I, told, well, I wasn't ready to prompt this well, I told, you know, I told the Universal people, this is the winner. So wow. sign him now while he's an amateur. Yeah. Oh my and, gosh. And, and, uh, I have goosebumps right now. I was still yeah. pretty upset about the year before where I lost at the USA's. Yeah. Uh -huh. I took second. Yeah. And um, I was coming back, you know, 
yeah. to fight for that yeah. Mr. USA title. And yeah. would I get it? I didn't know, yeah. Yeah. but I was I was hoping that I would. So, I mean, I've been around this 45 years, but I went ahead you winning Mr. Olympia. Thank you. Yeah. That yeah. Is yeah. I, I hope yeah. I can be the first ever two division champion. Yeah. 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 Filipino <laughs> and me, but you have to pay for bottles of water here in Europe everywhere you go. And they were giving away free bottles at the athlete trucks. So, of course, I got four and I got two in the bag. <laughs> and I made Trevor have six in his pockets. Um, there's no water fountains anywhere to fill up my water jug. Yeah, and they're talking about it. And, huh? Maybe <laughs> something. Yeah, we're not talking about no, it. But there's, we don't. So. There's not any water fountains to fill up anything. There's like nothing open on Sundays here. Like the grocery, are the grocery stores not even open? Are the grocery stores open? No. So the grocery stores? No. It's Sunday. It's, it's Sunday and the grocery stores are not open for us to go buy water. So here we are. This is what you do. Like little tiny waters, but we were thirsty. Do we have a bottle opener? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm skinny. I know, babe. <laughs> I come back to the US. <laughs> three, three, what? three. What happened? She was trying to get water. <laughs> And this is how we celebrate after a long weekend at Fibo. Justin wanted pizza. We got all the kinds of pizzas. Okay, I want a pizza too. <laughs> the way you're sitting in the chair is funny. <laughs> is it? <laughs> just hey, I'm just relaxing. So dude. lounge. I'm relaxing, waiting to eat this. Just a king waiting for the pizza. Do the chain, do the train. Hey, let's act our age. Old. Alright, Derek. When you said that Feeble was huge, you weren't kidding. Bro, you saw it, right? It was crazy. There it were was, so many people. It was like a swarm of people everywhere. It's packed. Dude, when I was on the power stage, I just like looked out and I was like, man, it's like an ocean of people it's yeah. out there. They said 51,000 people sold out this entire thing. That's crazy. You couldn't even get tickets to the thing. So it was, it was nuts, man. And I just know like every time I, like, I went out of the booth and like had to go to the bathroom or something like that, it was just like a swarm of people just come up and I don't know, it's just, for me, that's like super cool. I love it. Like we're all there to have fun and, 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 and build camaraderie and, and support each other and stuff. And like, I just, for me, I just really appreciate all the people that do support me. And like, this was another weekend where it was just like, you could recognize firsthand how many people are out here around the world that really support what we're doing. And like, it's just super cool. And I'm, Hear so many people like, oh, I watch your YouTube channel, or like, oh man, I can't wait for this year's Olympia to see you come back. I want to see you win. I want to see you better. It's like, I don't know, it's just cool. Or like, oh, you motivate me, and like, you know, I've, I've lost 20 pounds, or oh, I put on 20 pounds of muscle, or I did my first show this year because I was watching, you know, your YouTube or your Instagram. It's like, I don't know, it's just like, 
to me, it's like, that's what it's about. We all, we say iron sharpens iron, you know, like they, the, these people support me. Hopefully I motivate and inspire them. And we just like all level up together. And another takeaway from this weekend for me was, it was a reflection on how far I've come, not just as a professional, but also as a person, but also like how I need to continue to improve on myself. Again, not just the physique, not just as a professional, but as a human being. There were so many challenges this weekend, like from the get-go, bro, right? Okay, we get to the airport, right? It was smooth, the first couple flights, it was great. We were having fun, joking. We're like, this is gonna be a great trip. And then as soon as we got here, your bag was lost or stolen or whatever. And that just threw a wrench because that first day we were exhausted, we were tired, we were jet lagged. We had all of our, our luggage together. We're running around the city trying to figure out how to get your bag back. And there was like a lot of content that was in that bag. There was a lot of money that was in that bag that that had been missing or stolen or lost. And it's just like, just such a negative bad start to being here. And then we would go to the restaurant and we didn't have any euros yet. And it was just like, oh my gosh, how do we pay? The cards aren't going through, we have to pay cash. It just, like one thing after another, it was like we couldn't catch a break, we couldn't get water, we couldn't use, even using the bathroom, bro. Like yeah. I didn't even have euros to go to the bathroom. Somebody had to pay for me and like, thank God that somebody was nice and came up and was like, here, you know, it's like one euro, go use the bathroom. But like, couldn't use the bathroom, couldn't get anything to drink or eat or anything. We were trying to figure out how to navigate this place, which I've been here before and it was smooth. In, in other times but this time with having all the luggage and all three of us it just it was just crazy and it was so challenging and to be honest I broke I broke a few times there was a few times where I was just I was really upset man I felt responsible not just as again a professional someone that's like okay we're here to do our job and and Trevor you know I bring you out because we want to film this but it was like you're my friend you're one of my best friends man and I have my wife, the person I love the most. And I, I brought you both here and I feel responsible as a man to take care of you all and myself and lead and make sure that we're okay. And I just felt like I was, I was losing, I was failing as a, as a man. I felt like I was failing as a professional and I was failing as a Christian because I was getting frustrated. And um, so, like I said, like a takeaway from this weekend was how far I've come because I know that maybe in the past I wouldn't be able to handle myself as well as I did this time and turn the weekend around and have a great weekend but also at the same time like I still could get better and and not allow these challenges in life to, to overcome me so quickly so I don't know it was just kind of like okay I've come far but like I still need to improve on myself as a as a human being and um, I think a lot of times that's the hardest thing to do. Like we see like, oh, I can improve my physique or, oh, I can be a better professional. I can, you know, go further in business. But it's like, what about you as a person? Like, like can you improve as a person? Can you recognize, I don't want to say flaws in yourself, but can you, can you build stronger character? I think everybody can. I think just like bodybuilding, there's no perfect physique. There's no perfect human being. There was only one and that was Jesus Christ. So that was the thing, man. Like, I think for a long time, I've been like, okay, you know, like I've come a long way and I'm proud of who I am and how far I've come. But this time I'm like, not just that, but okay, let's, let's reflect on ourselves and, and, and let's, we need, we need to get better. We need to level up as a man and as a person too. So yeah, I don't know, but it, it, it did. It turned out to be honestly an awesome weekend. I really love come out to these events whether it's here in Germany whether it's in the US or wherever it is around the world I love coming to these expos and huge events that's you know surrounded by fitness and bodybuilding people are passionate about the same thing and it's just a fun good time like good energy and uh, yeah I mean but there's I'll tell you what man there's really <laughs> nothing quite like FIBO what was there 10 halls yeah it was it was insane it was just like packed shoulder to shoulder and then, like, when there was a line, it was just com completely packed. But uh, super cool, man. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, like, 
I love this, but I am ready to get back to the US, sleep in my own bed, get back to my own routine, eat my food, go to the gym and train hard, and um, we got some big events coming up. We got the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing that I'm really looking forward to, among other events such as the St. Louis Pro Show the first weekend of May, then like I said, the Pittsburgh Pro the following weekend, and then the third weekend of May is the Grand Rapids Show up in Michigan. So. A lot of things coming. We have content that we lost and hopefully are getting back. We still haven't got the bag back. So if we can get that back, um, we got some pretty cool content coming your way. Uh, I'm really excited about that. And then of course, obviously we're gonna be continue to vlog and, and show the workouts, show the training and yeah, just keep on keeping on, man. <laughs> That's right. All right, so breakfast is over. We need to get our ride to, to the, the airport. airport. Yep, let's go.